The hope opener is underway as Caleb Bolden throws the first one up and out to Peyton Leeper. Bragging on his command though, and he walks Peyton Leeper to begin the contest. Yeah, good. Just underway in this home opener. That's one area of concern for a pitching staff that was so dominant over the first weekend, Troy. They did. They are going, and it's ball four. So three free base runners, and Troy, head coach Andy Sawyer. 2-2 with... pitch. Smoked to right for a base hit. This will chase home a run. Wilbur will hold a third. That ball kicks away from Slavens. The runners will not advance. And the Red Hawks strike first, one nothing. Sema. On the base hit from Andrews. Really nice swing by Lincoln Anders right there. That ball, he, was, he didn't try to do too much with that baseball. Yanked it right through that hole. No chance for any Razorback. And Caden Wallace with a really strong arm out there. They Simo decided to hold that runner at third base. But again, nice arm. Simo. Chopper up the middle. Battles will get there. Flips to Moore. No chance to get the double play. Battles maybe having just a Difficult second getting that ball out of his glove. Wright will reach, and it's a 2 0 Simo lead. Opitz is going to head and throw down, but a run is going to score, even though the Razorbacks will try and complete the third out, and they don't get it. Slavin's unable to tag Danny Wright, and the third run of the inning scores for Simo. Good job by Simo to start that runner. He was going to get caught up. Moore makes the decision, but what happens is Slavens has got to close that gap. You've got to be moving. You've got to be moving closer to that runner if you're the first baseman, Slavens. And, and you got to think about it. Slavens is a guy that's played third, fourth run off the glove of Wicklander. It'll die in the dirt, and the inning continues. Sent out towards Wallace and Wright, and that will end the inning, but a busy frame for Southeast Missouri. They put three runs on the board. Challenging those Razorback hitters. Yeah, I like his demeanor on the mound, and he does walk Cullen Smith. So the first Arkansas base runner comes up. That one just took out Webb. That didn't even sound good, almost like it hit the bat. Yeah, it, made a, it did make a funny sound, didn't it? I thought it almost hit the knob. Oh, it hit oh, the guard. Shin guard or elbow guard. A tough angle for those left-handers. That one is fair. I thought that may have been foul, but Blasevic picks it up and flips to Dodd covering for the out to end the inning. Hit a little tapper in front of the plate. His first time in. That one stroke to center, and it gets by Franklin. And this is going to roll all the way to the fence. Blazevic has a chance for an easy three, and he'll stop there with a two-out triple. That's the risk when you're the center fielder. It's short. Off the hands, chopped to third. Smith cuts in front of Battles and makes the play to end the inning. So the Blazevic triple does not lead to a run. It Stroke down the left field line. Staus into the corner. That's into the bullpen and gone. Christian Franklin's first home run of the season provides the first run in the home opener. And I thought he almost got jammed. Yeah, it didn't sound very good off the bat. But the ball carried really well out there left field. Let's see where Franklin catches this ball. Very in. Yeah, a little bit in. A nice stroke right there. And it didn't get out by much, but just enough. Second home run of the season for the Razorbacks. We talk so much. Forrest, I think, almost, in it? Up the middle. Moore can't get there. Base hit by Stouse. It's the fourth hit for the Red Hawks. They have a runner. Up the middle and through for a base hit. Back-to-back -back singles by the eight and nine hitters, Staus and Bosler. In the start, there's a wave and a miss, and the throw down to second base should be in time. It is. Opitz to Moore to a race Staus. How about that for a double play to end an inning?
when you've got a catcher like Casey Opitz who can throw the baseball as good as any catcher in the country, that's what you're going to get. Strike him out, pick him off double play. Yeah, great job by Wicklander and outstanding job for Robert Moore just to be there on that throw. Yeah, it's going to be tough. That one rocketed to right. Back to the wall. Goodbye. Maybe the first of many at Mom Walker for Brady Slavens. A missile that cleared the fence in right center. That ball didn't get about 25 feet off the ground. Just a, a dart out to right field. And, and Brady Slavens, you know, love that pretty left-handed swing. Look how much he stays behind that baseball. You gotta love the leverage that he creates when he makes contact. And that ball doesn't get out by much. It's that netting right in front of the fence. But again, Arkansas fans are gonna love to see number 17 swinging the bat this season. Uh, not a lot of backspin, but just. Did he offer? No. Just as Troy says that, there is the first walk. Wilbur's the batter. Drop it to the right side. Slavens handles the high bounce, throws a high throw to the lanky Monk. Everything's in the air, but that's an out. A little wild, but Arkansas got the job done. Walked and fly to right. Serves one to left field. A good piece of hitting for a single to begin the Hogs' sixth inning. A yeah, really nice job by Cohen Smith. That's 90th pitch for Dodd. Little dribbler back to the mound. Dodd will force the throw to second, and it's not in time. Even had that ball been caught, Troy, I believe Smith was easily going to be safe. Yeah, I think that's where the catcher, Keck, has got to tell Dodd what to do. It's a little number. Smith gets a great jump. Dodd tries to do a little too much. Yeah, he, it, he was going to be safe. Hey, we're at the park. Ball four. Good, good. sequence from Wallace. Yeah, really good at bat. Here. He didn't do that. How about Dodd leaving three men on base? Wow, outstanding job can be grateful and that roller will trickle into center and Wilbur's on for the third time that's his first hit got a kick though at a coach Sawyer as he said he can hit a mean fungo on a gym floor <laughs> dish that one is going to stay fair and Monk will throw one that boy Slavens was lucky to make the play if that's Smith that's Goodhart over there at first they don't catch that He's healthy, but he's one for 17 until that swing, and it's going to drive in a run and maybe two. And the Red Hawks, who have never trailed today, are back up three. Boy, there's what your balk cost you right there. It cost you an extra run. But moving those base runners up to second, third. Nice at bat by Danny Wright. Got jammed a little bit, but again, kept, kept the bat in the strike zone for a long time. And that ball wasn't hit very sharply. And off the bat, Christian Franklin knows. He said, I don't have a shot at that runner at the plate. There's no sense in trying to airmail one, keep that runner at first. Just let it kind of natural action. It's going to dive on you. Delayed steal attempt. And that throw is going to be there waiting for Danny Wright to end the inning. Don't run on Casey Opitz, Troy. You do it at your own peril. The drive. <laughs> or maybe just cue one to short. Wilbur, though, handled that. Blazovic did not, and the Hogs have a base runner. Boy, that had some funky spin on Didn't it, off it? The end of the bat. That Oops. Hogs need at least one more base runner. What a play by Leeper at third. His throw to second might start a double play. Safe, but what an effort as the Red Hawks nearly went around the horn. On Soft flare headed to right center field, down for a hit. Wallace will turn and go to third, and the Hawks will bring the tying run of the plate in the bottom of the ninth inning. It's good for their final two outs. This will help. A flare towards center, dropping base hit. Wallace got locked up reading that ball, but he will score. And now the winning run comes to the plate. How big is the base hit by Danny Wright last inning? The two RBIs with battles. Again, the second batter just to kind of get one off the end of the bat. And sometimes you better be lucky than good. And that's another little looper by the Hogs. Not great contact, but great result. Lifted to right. Back goes Zivic. Running out of room. Leaping. It's off the top of the fence. It's not a home run. The Hogs do not score, but the bases are loaded. 
And Moore's pointing, maybe thinking that ball escaped. Instead of a game-winning home run, as of now, the bases are loaded. Troy, if it did come back in the field of play, it's not as if there's a fence behind it, though. Right. I thought he had enough off the bat, but Civic got back there, was camped. And let's take another look. Seems like it kind of got in on the hands of Moore just a little bit. Let's see what happened once Zivic got back to the fence. Looks like it just hit off the top of the fence itself. I don't know. Yeah, that's in play. That's not a home run. Right. I or win this game here. Ball four. It's a one-run contest in the bottom of the ninth inning. Wow, that's a tough take. Isn't it Christian back to back? back? My goodness. Transfer rules. It's a little flare to left, but Staus was playing shallow. The catch is made. Battles is going to try and score. This game is tied. Moore scrambles back to second. He's safe, and it's a 5-5 game. They're going to they're going to appeal that play at third. Did he leave Battles early? leaving early. It was really close. The thing that you don't the thing you don't want to do as a as a player at runner at third is you want to be down in your squat. And I think he's fine, but a lot of times umpires, if you stand up straight and then you bend your knees, they think you've actually left the bag. But I think Battles, he just had good timing on that play. Let's see, here's the appeal. They're going to try nope. to appeal, but the nope. problem was, the play was dead. Miller was not in contact with the rubber. He has to be in contact with the rubber. But they're telling him what he has to officially do. Position. Well, the last time there was a ball game here at Baumwalker Stadium was last March. You've waited forever for a little more. You're going to get more today. In the a little shocked by that. Soft dribbler to first. Wiggins has to get over and cover. He does, and Jackson Wiggins cruises through the top of the 10. Here we go. Home opener. Extra innings. Slavens, Opitz, and Wallace. Hawk. Hit to right. Back goes Zivic. He's going to have to play it up off the chain link fence. Opitz has a one out double, and the potential winning run is in scoring position. Unless you get one right over the dish. And then you yank it for a double in the corner by Casey Opitz. This will be the 15th pitch in this sequence. One, two freshman on the hill. Another in the box. What an epic battle in the bottom of the 10th, waiting for a verdict. Ball four. My goodness. Just an outstanding at bat by Kate Wallace. That him. clipped him. Wow. On that elbow guard. Now things are getting really interesting. That's the second time today he has taken one off that guard. This battles rolls one up the middle. And the Razorbacks win in the bottom of the 10th. In the home opener, the infield single by Jalen Battles and opens the first there to celebrate. Boy, if you're the Red Hawks, you're, you're, you're getting the game of inches. It's a ball back to the pitcher.